Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, we've been going on production and uh, just worked on routing. And I'm going to just keep going in that direction. Basically, uh, what we have is uh, we've created a few items. Uh, one of them is uh, ground coffee. And if I go into ground coffee, just added that, I can see that it's a production item. And we have, uh, if I just go into, let me see, um, replenishment, we have a production bill of material called ground coffee. And there I have set up that it actually needs coffee beans to be made. Now, there is something called routing number, which is right here, which I have not set. So what I started by doing is creating a uh, machine, uh, I'm sorry, a work center. And this is the beginning of setting up routings. Routings are a little bit complicated, but basically the idea behind routings is that you go through a work center um, as you're producing this, and then it could be timed how long it will take. So we have a grinding work uh, coffee area right here. And I'm actually going to create a routing with this work center. So if I go into routings, um, and just create a new one, actually, I have one that's new here. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and create a brand new one. And we'll call it uh, grind. Copy. So it's a serial, meaning that uh, each steps over here uh, is just done one after another. I'm only going to have one stop step. So I will just create operation number 10. It's a work center. I actually only have one work center, it's grinding coffee. I'll say that setting up, which means loading the coffee beans into the whole container there, uh, takes about 10 minutes. And runtime to actually grind the coffee um, takes about, let's say, one minute a pound. All right, and then there is no wait time or anything like that, so I'm not going to set that up. And I'm going to say that costs um, for each minute, let's say it costs 50 cents like that. Okay, so this is kind of a simple setup for routings. Uh, we'll probably go into more complicated ones in further videos. I need to change the status to certified. And then I just close this out. And now I need to attach this grind coffee routing to my item. So if I go into close this out, um, like so. Let me just get into it, refresh. Um, and there it is. Get into the main screen and into items. So I'm doing everything through the web. Uh, it's pretty snappy for like just a connection straight to the Microsoft Cloud. So I go into ground coffee right here into edit. Uh, and I want to change the, uh, the main uh, item. And I'd like to add the routing number right here. So that is key. So now I actually have both a production bill of material and a routing. So when I create a production order right now, it should grab both. So one of the interesting things is kind of like maybe unintuitive is that you can create a production order with routing. It's kind of a shortcut saying like, hey, if you don't want to do capacity planning, you can skip it. Um, but most of the time, I think you would do it with both if you were doing like full flats manufacturing. So I'm just gonna close this out and see how the released production order. Um, so I just create a new one. And we've done this now 100 times in the video. So everybody should be extremely familiar with this. Um, and I'll just pick the item, ground coffee, 100 pounds, uh, refresh the production order, and calculate everything, just hit OK. 
And now it creates this, just like we did before. And now it's not taking the entire day. And notice that. Normally it took, if you didn't have routing, it took the entire day. It basically said, okay, we're gonna do, you know, take the entire, entire day to do this and it's not really scheduled. It's just do it today. If you have routing, it says, okay, we have to have it ready by um, uh, four, six, um, because I think the due date is four, nine, and actually it'd be interesting to take a look at, there might be a weekend here, and that's why it's saying four, six. But four, six at five o'clock, which means we have to start at three, 10. We have to start at three o'clock in the afternoon in order to finish by five. So that's pretty accurate, right? How did it figure that out? So if I go into the line, into routing, we have a route. And it's basically saying that it has to go through this work center and it's going to be 10 minute setup and one minute runtime. So if you calculate that, we have 100 pounds, that's 100 minutes. So it's 110 minutes, which is pretty much almost two hours, you know, less 10 minutes. And then you have it right here. So that's exactly how it works. Um, so we can actually assign tasks to a machine center and stuff like that. We'll do that in the next video. But now you see how we actually added routing and we have time management on the production order. Pretty cool. So please do a thumbs up on this one. I'm sure you learned something. And if you haven't subscribed, oh, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? All right. Until next time. Thank you.